Hello everyone, this is Luke here from LT Gaming, and today I'm doing Let's Take a Look at the Universe Sim, a game which is still in early access, and early access even, and has been in early access for quite a long time at this stage. But um, I did a Let's Play on this a while ago, and it's a really, really cool game. So instead of doing like a really formal review like I've been doing, I'm trying to think of a more casual way of looking at games critically and through maybe a bit more of a let's play format so let's take a look at it's really what I've come up with about as creative as I've got so far so I just wanted to show how far the game has come on it's still a really excellent game so yeah this should be fun I hope you enjoyed your break creator I did indeed if you don't mind I'll be getting back to my book. You do that? Right, I have a mission here. Place a lumber camp, lumber camp. Destroy some trees to please this guy. Now, I was stuck on this earlier. It wasn't working for me, so let's see if it works. One. I am a god in this game, just in case you didn't know. Root all the nearest trees from his sight. Let's do that. Strange request, but we'll do it. My beautiful planet. Yay, we did it. Okay, this guy obviously hates the environment. So hey, welcome to the universe sim. This is my new playthrough. I've got... 193 citizens. This is my sprawling global population. This lumber camp really needs to get built and it is not happening. I don't know why. Let's prioritize it. I think we'll go. I always play on a slightly faster speed. But as you can see, the structures are pretty cool. There's been the new expedition system added, so I did that once already. I sent an expedition down into the core to find these things to help me get special technologies, which are a new thing. So I'm quite the way through the tech tree. It's quite an expansive tech tree, as you'll see. It goes on and on and on and on and on into the space age, which they are developing and everyone's eagerly awaiting. So, uh, yeah, can we get on with that, please? Everybody wants to see this space age. It would make the game absolutely excellent, I believe. So we're stuck in winter right now. Got plenty of food, plenty of water. A water of oh, 10 minutes, actually, not so much. This season needs to come to an end. Actually, our food stores are a bit low, too. What's going on there? No fishing. I think we're going to need some more farms. That's what we want. And farm in the desert probably doesn't sound good. I uh, don't want to chop down all those trees. I'm trying to keep my planet somewhat ecologically good by not destroying all the trees despite the, the quests. In fact, while we're here, we might put a few trees down. Important not to completely destroy your habitat in this game. But your nuggets do a good job of doing that. Let's plant a new forest over here. And see my creator points are going down. And we'll watch this forest, hopefully, spring up. Lovely. So currently we are in the deepest, darkest winter. We're running out of food and water. We did have loads of food, so I don't really know what's happening. Population is, is pretty high, I guess. No crime. Happiness is high. We're doing good on that front. Trevor's all our fishing huts are currently shut down for the winter, so we could really do with them opening back up and our water so this is a bit of a problem if 
Winter doesn't decide to thaw soon. As you can see, the game is it's pretty epic game. You know, there's a lot to recommend in this in early access. It's it's a lot of fun. I mean, not a lot of games are presented this well. I mean, look at it. It's 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 stunning. It's a stunning game with beautiful present. Whoa! As I was saying, stunning game with beautiful presentation. But what is this? Hey ho! Didn't even know this was here. Looks like a bit of a natural disaster to me. Cool, okay, that's not good. Our currently dwindling food stocks is also unpleasant. Okay, dear creator. Yes, they do take a long time to do this. Place a courier's hut, let's do it. If I can find it, I can never find buildings in this game. Oh, there we go. I think water, winter is, is thawing. Thank God for that. We were really <laughs> in a bit of trouble there. Let's stick that in there. So generally, the Nuggets build structures themselves. They even have their own governments where if they think they need something, they'll build it. You don't have to do all the building. All of these residential structures that they live in, they build themselves, which is a pretty cool concept. You're just a god who basically keeps things ticking over and nudges them in the right direction, which is great. Okay, so I've got to use my telekinesis crit power to deliver enough Neff Nugzo's packages. Okay, that sounds interesting. Let's get telekinesis ready. So you do have these little story points to do as well. You will fly me there, hopefully. Great, we'll deliver that package there. You're most welcome. So yeah, quests are part of the game as well. Now, they flesh them out a lot. They're a lot better than they were. Where is this guy going? Oh, we're going over to one of our friendly cities. Although we have been attacked by some other Nugget civilizations. They got messed up. Now I've lost where I'm supposed to be. Here we go, over here. Let's fly, let's fly, let's fly. Where is our nugget thing? I've got disorientated. Up here. Up here we go. Where is our... Where is it? I've lost our nugget packages now. Where are they? Am I having a moment here? Where did I build that? I put that here somewhere, didn't I? Come on, Luke. I am not facing the right way. What am I doing? I'm getting I'm confusing myself. It's up here. Okay, I've got one minute fifty-two seconds to do this. Okay, that's easy. Thank you for that one. Did that go in? Yep. A couple more packages and we should be done. I don't get disorientated again, which it is easy to do in this game. You, you, your civilization spread over a whole planet. You can get very easily disorientated about where it's way you are facing. Once again, I'm lost again. Oh, man, what am I doing? This way, up here. Oh. What? Greatest sacrifice party of all time. Get out of here. Oh, I lost five believers. Great. But I just thought that was probably a bad thing. Oh, what have I done? Oh. Go, go, go. I did it! Yay! So I got my five believers back and my construction hut finished early. Not my construction hut, my carrier's hut. You should get things moving a bit quicker. So yeah, your god points which you get up here, creator points, are really determined by your number of population that believe in you. By doing different actions, people will start to believe in you. 
if you create a lot of nuggets yourself, you will have them believe in you very, very quickly, which is cool. So yeah, lots of stuff happens in this game. Built a farm up here tonight because we're a bit low on food. Yeah. Do it, guys. Build that farm. We do have fish coming back in now, though. I think I built a good few fishing huts. So our food is getting replenished. I do think I will build a couple more water wheels. Water is very important in this game. But it does drain the lakes, so as you play, your lakes will drain, which creates more of a strain upon the environment, which is a pretty cool concept, I think, in this day and age. It's all about looking after your planet. At one point, my planet fell to like 75% of its uh, condition, and I managed to go on a big replanting progress and replanted lots of trees that my guys had cut down. So very much kind of like populous vibes to this game. It's a pretty interesting, pretty cool game. It's still in early access, and it's been in early access for a long time. The graphics, to me, are really great. They're spectacular. The music is inspiring. The design work and the presentation of the cutscenes and the beginning of the game are just awe-inspiring. They're great. Uh, there are When you get towards the late game, you run out of things to do because they haven't implemented the space race yet. And that is what is going to be the difference between making this game a good game and a great game. It's really that space race they have to implement. Once they implement that space race, this could be one of the best strategy games out there, or city builders, planet managers, whatever you want to call it. They've got to get that space race right, so a lot rides on it. And they've been promising it for a long time now. So hopefully that will happen. But look, I have to say, I highly recommend this game. It's still in early access. I'd pick it up, no problem. I've enjoyed it maybe three different times since I bought it. I've played, done three different big playthroughs. I've put about 60 hours into it now. So for me, it's well worth the money. I'm going to push on, maybe do a part two to this review to see what the end game looks like. But overall, Universe is a really strong recommendation for me. I think it's a really cool game. If they add that space race and it goes well, then look, this is a buy. Yeah, I hope to do more of this game because it's it's great. So yeah, go out and get it. That's my recommendation. I hope everyone has a great weekend. I've been Luke from LT Gaming. And I will see you on the next one.